weird <laughs> angle to film at, but the sun is coming into the conservatory in a really weird situation today. And I'm bulk filming because I have childcare, which is amazing. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back to sit down and talk you through what I, we have got P for Christmas this year. P is seven, she was seven in November. And I'm just gonna grab and go. I have got a massive bag full. <sighs> Can you see the end? Um, I organised this stuff end of September, so it's been sat in there for a while, so I cannot remember what's in here. Um, so I'm just going to grab and go. So the first thing we've got is this flip jewellery by Gout. 10 picture changing discs and 200 beads. This is quite babyish, it's not babyish, um, but you know like now on Amazon you can get these massive sets of everything. This is just a little one. Um, something for her to do isn't it over the Christmas holidays make some jewellery this was from Sainsbury's years ago like what I say in Florence's Christmas video same spiel had it for years finally giving it to P probably paid like three quid for it so we've got that then she has got this squish is it a squish mallow squish mallow um, this one is the lion. I got this in B&M. <sighs> when did I get this? I got this back in the summer. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's rainbow. It's a little one. This is, I think this is the eight inch one. I'm not 100% sure. Florence has got the large. P has got a large one. Um, but my friend has currently got it because my friend Hannah went to the Claire's accessory sale. Did anyone know about the Squishmallow sale? It was buy three, get three free, and they were all 50% off, which was insane. Um, but I didn't need six, so I went in on a deal with her. She bought it, I transferred her the money. So P has got a big one, um, but this is just a little one for now um, that she'll have as well. She hasn't got a small one, but she loved this one. And I don't know if they do this one as a big, but anyway, st still talking about Squishmallows. Um, so I've got that. What else have we got? What's in here? Oh, this is, um, I put this in a bag because I'm going to wrap this as one present. And this is just new stationary bits. So, P's request this year, is that a receipt? Have I got the plate set on here? Please have the plate set on here, because I double bought, no, novelty glasses. No, I double bought plate sets this year, never mind. Anyway, um, P's request this year has been unicorn stuff. So I got these in Home Bargains. They were all really reasonable. So we've got Mega Colouring Unicorns. So she's got a colouring book that is dedicated to unicorns. Fine. Then she's got the Puzzles, Mega Puzzles Unicorns. So it's like an activity pack. Like Spot the Difference and Mazes and things like that. And Word Searches, which is right up her street. And then we've got Find the Magical Magical Unicorn, which is basically like a unicorn search and find. So that's going to be a little bundle for her. And I mean for two, three, four, for four quid, I'm pretty happy with that because the unicorn stuff on, on Amazon is really expensive. So those are from Home Bargains and they do like superheroes and dinosaurs and things like that. And then to go with it, we've got the Scribble Pop Shop scented gel pens. So we've got those. I think they were really inexpensive. They're like probably 129. So she's got that. She's got the pencils because they go with it. These were inexpensive. I think these are like 69p scented colouring pencils. She'll love those. Um, and then I found this. This is really cheap. I think this was like 59p. And it's a fountain pen. Whether she'll use it or not, I don't know, but I just thought I'd include it. It's a little extra, isn't it? Um, I've got this. Oh, I may as well do this whilst I'm doing, like, stationery, actually. Um, 
a little notepad from Tesco. I think it was like 30p. She just loves to write lists and I've, she's actually got this conservatory now. We turned it into her space. So she's got a desk opposite me. Um, and she comes in here after school because she likes to do things. It's really hard. Because of the age difference, we've got four and a half years between the children. P likes to do things on her own and or she'll like to sit and write and then Florence will want to get involved but Florence doesn't understand that P's actually doing stuff and P then gets frustrated so we turn this conservatory into P's space so she comes in here after school or in the weekends and she'll do work at her table so this is going to be in here so she can she literally sits and writes sentences and things like that so she's got that and then I also got her this pencil case it's like a tie-dye pencil case uh, but it's a deep one so I thought that could come in here. Um, and that was from Tesco's for like 50p. Uh, oh, and I've got this one. It's like an academic lined notepad. So whether she does spellings in here or drawing or makes a story, she's got that as well. So it could be a stocking filler, but I've just, she's got enough for her stocking. Um, anyway, Argos, I can't remember how much I paid for this. Probably no more than a fiver. And this is um, So Sand DIY, so it's like ASMR sand, three colours, you've got some tools, and it's just a ball. So I thought she'd like that. Um, this. Argos, maybe? Uh, I don't know, I haven't got a sticker on it. It's Olaf Lego, she likes doing Lego, especially now that she's got this conservatory space. She will sit and do Lego and it doesn't have to get destroyed. Florence doesn't go around pulling bits off. I've got the cat wants to come in. Come on then. What are you chirping at? Come on. Am I in your way? Come on. Come on. Wait, just get in. Come on, quickly. Come on, if not, I'm going to shut you out. Come on. Bloody cat. Um she can sit and do this on her own in here i mean I'll, obviously we will help as well if she needs it but she's got olaf and then i'm sure she'll receive some more lego from family members right wally are you coming in come on do you need some help come in then Fucking cat. come in i got you i got you i got you i got you i'm not gonna let you fall there we go right you're gonna sit on my lap this was a bit of a grown up present can you get off my lap actually please Wally? no nope? okay um p loves having mermaid hair and i plait her hair and she loves it but in the winter months it's cold we're trying not to put the heating on that often um and she just misses having plaits because she loves her mermaid hair so on prime day I got her, is it bad buying my seven year old a hair tool? Probably, is she gonna use it daily? Absolutely not, it's gonna be a once every month occasion, a um, couple times a month. I got her the three barrels hair waver tool and I thought she would absolutely love it. She, like I said, she loves having her mermaid hair. It was really inexpensive, I think I paid maybe like 10, 11 pounds for it. It's obviously bright pink and just as a little something to like make her feel girly if she's got like a party that she wants to go or that she's been invited to she can have her hair done for that or on special occasions like her birthday or christmas or whatever um come on down again she's got that florence got a duvet cover as has p p's is the lol doll omg she's still obsessed with her lol dolls she absolutely loves them it's um reversible so on one side you've got the big girls and then on the other side you've got loads of them in little. She likes these ones, these ones have got the original so it's oh, Diva, Swag, Neonlicious and is it the Boss? Honey Bee or something? I can't remember. But she got that. This was, I mean it's, it's it, LOL dolls are expensive anyway. This was £10 in the sale in Argos. I absolutely love Argos. I showed this in Florence's. P has got the same but small, uh, different size and different pattern. So this is a small to medium. Um, it's the leopard print style with the cat ears on the hood. This again was £12 so I'm going to wrap them up 
um, and then they can open them up at the same time so they know that they've got the same but different. Um, I thought that was a really useful present. These I got on eBay a couple of years ago and these are Dick King Smith Sophie series. I don't know if any of you remember these. I had these in audiobook style when I was younger and they were read by Bernard Cribbins, R.I.P. Bernard Cribbins and they're just really special stories about Sophie that lives on a farm and she has an abundance of adventures and animals and she has these pigs and this cat called, is the cat called like Fat Boy or something? And I just, they're such lovely stories. Um, P could read these. Easily she could read these. This is the size of fun if you've got readers, like young readers like I have. Um, she could read those but I think it might be something that we read together whether she reads the chapter and I read together because they are special um, I can't remember how much I paid for these I don't know how much these should be brand new um, I think I paid something like £3 plus postage so I won those on eBay so she's got that um, I may as well get some more books out of the way Daisy and the Trouble with Christmas. I think I might put this in the Christmas Eve box if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, she loves the Daisy books. Again, if you're sort of new and you've got readers, younger readers, I really recommend these books. They're um, illustrated by Nick Sharrett, who did the Jacqueline Wilson books. Um, they've got nice writing, easy words, um, pictures, small chapters. And she loves that. So she has got that, but I'm I'm probably gonna put that in the Christmas Eve box. And this was second hand. Can't remember how much I paid because I got it in a bundle. And then these were from a charity shop. These are Felicity Wishes by Emma Thompson. Um which they're just such lovely stories. I paid a pound. They weren't a pound each, it was three for two. Pound, pound for that, a pound, a pound. Um it would have been three for two. Um, and they're just, they're a little bit more grown up, but what I like to do is I like to gift birthday, Christmas, Christmas advent and all of that, book advent, and then they have, they have it all now, and then they, they have like, say she can read this one easy now, then she will work through the year to get to this point, and then come next Christmas she'll be on a different like stage, if that makes sense. Um, so I do a range of, of books so it's a little bit bigger not as many pictures but still beautiful illustrations um so we've got spooky sleepover happy hobbies and spectacular skies so she will love those then then we've got Encanto on DVD. I got this on Prime Day. I think it was maybe like a fiver. Um, we don't have Disney. We used Ellie's. Then Ellie cancelled hers. And I just, to be honest, I don't think we need it. And I don't really want to have to pay. I don't even know how much it is. Is it £7.99 a month for something that we don't really use that much? We have Sky. We've got Netflix. We don't need. It would be nice to have the Disney films. I think I'm going to pay for it for one month over Christmas. But other than that they don't need it so we've got Encanto because P fucking loves Encanto she absolutely loves it so I got her that but it's probably gonna be like a joint present for both of them but we've got it um another kit is the style forever tie-dye set it's got the stamps I just need to buy something for her to tie dye so I'll probably go to Primark and get like the £1.80 t-shirts like just the white ones um and then we can do some tie dye um to be honest it's probably something that I will keep and let her do maybe like February half term or Easter because then she can do it outside and it's more t-shirt appropriate whereas in the winter she doesn't really wear t-shirts but anyway I got this comes with six colours pink yellow blue purple like a corally orange and a green and I just thought it was a really good idea I think this again was like £2.75 in Asda Argos really inexpensive 
couldn't do a Christmas present without doing her an LOL doll. So this is the OMG Sunshine Girl. These used to be really expensive. When I first got, or well, not me, but when P first got into LOL dolls, these were like 30 odd quid. There were never any sales, but now they're, they're releasing so many each year that they, they get reduced really like easily. And it's really easy to find cheaper ones. So this was 19 99 I think. Um, and she loves these. Um, she's going to love this one. She, she plays with them. And who am I to say that she can't have something because she's got so many. But she plays with them. Um, so leading on from that, she's also got this <laughs> tweens girl. I got her really cheap. I think she was maybe like seven quid. Can't remember when. It was on Amazon. What is this one? Lexi Girl. And this is like, is it Prankster? If your girls are into LOL, I'm sure you'll know. Um, but it's the tween version. She's only got one tween, I think, which is the cherry one she got last year. These only go for about 21. Um, so the fact I got it for seven pounds is really, really good. Um, so it's just a smaller version of the LOLs and she plays with these and calls them like the little sisters. So she plays with the OMGs over the ones in balls. So she's got that. A little extra I actually got from a charity shop, but I mean it looks brand new. It was $2.99. Um, and this is Candy Cane, the Christmas unicorn. She's gonna die because she just she loves unicorns. Like I said, the brief this year has been unicorns. Anything unicorn is what she wants. She's even got a festive unicorn gift wrap. Like I've gone all the way for her this year. Um, but she loves her. I don't know where the, oh my God, where's that gone? Where's that gone? I'm gonna have to do an interlude in a minute and go and find some stuff in the garage because she's got more stuff. Um, she's got a big unicorn. Um, but yeah, she's been obsessed with Beanie Boos this year. I don't know what it is. They're both obsessed with Beanie Boos. Um, so she's got this one. I saw this in a charity shop in the summer and I was like, oh my God, it's brand new. She's gonna love it. So she's got him. Then, also from a charity shop, is this. Now, I don't know, hang on. All the cards have moved so the box isn't straight. Oh, bloody hell. I can't be asked to sort this out right now. I'm just gonna put the lid on it and I'll sort it out later. I found this in a charity shop. How much did I pay? Probably like four pounds. And it's basically brand new. And this is Destination Norwich. Obviously, we live in Norwich. And I just thought it was really cool. I looked online and these are like 50 quid. I don't think they're that expensive. But it's basically brand new. It's a board game we don't have. And I just thought it would be something really nice that we could do together. Especially the fact that it's a Norwich one. So I'd imagine it's like a Norwich-based board game with like landmarks in Norwich. I used to have back in the day Norwich Monopoly yes yeah, see look it's got all of like the Norwich road names on and stuff Burr Street All Saints Green St Stephen's Street Grapes Hill Madden Market it's got like all like Riverside Thorpe Road it's got loads of like it's got the football ground it's got loads of things related to Norwich in it like I said, I have the Norwich Monopoly and I don't know where that's gone. Yeah. I think that went in the grandma's house clearance when she passed. So I've got this and I thought she'd love it. She loves playing board games and stuff and we've got loads. But I found that in a charity shop and thought that'd be a good idea. And then another one that we got, I've had this for a couple of years. And this is Disney edition of Colour Brain. I love Big Potato Games. I'm a massive fan of the games that they have. Um, and I think this is... The perfect time to give it to her. I almost did it last year and I was like, no, I'm gonna hold off. She got Junior Colour Brain two years ago, she got Colour Brain last year, and this year she's now gonna get Disney. Um, and she loves playing Colour Brain. So, for example, the jewels in Jasmine's headbands, then you lay which colours you think, the incredible suits, and then it'll say like how many colours you need to lay. So for the incredible suits, it'll be four, red, yellow, black and white. Um at least I think, I don't know. But anyway, so then you play a game, you get points and all of that. I got this on Amazon years ago. I can't remember how much it was. Wouldn't have been any more than 10, maybe. So she's got that. In the Sainsbury's toy sale, 
I wasn't going to get this. It's not something that she needs, but I know it will be something that she plays with, especially in the conservatory. And that is the LOL doll Woo! car with a pool. So these normally go for about 36 and I was not anticipating LOL dolls to be in the Sainsbury's toy sale. This went down to £18, which is very, very cheap slash reasonable. Um, like I said, it's one of her main toys that she plays with. If she's going to play with something, it's either going to be Lego or it's going to be with her LOL dolls. Um, and she doesn't have a car like this. She's got a Barbie car, but it's not even Barbie. It's, um, is it Cindy? No, it's the Tesco. Uh, no, it's the Asda. Oh my God, I don't shop in Asda. It's the Sano's cheap one, Steffi. She's got a Steffi car and I think that was like six quid. It's crap. Um, so she's got this. It's got UV lights. She's gonna love it. She's gonna absolutely love it. Um, it doesn't come with this. It comes with this, but she's got this one anyway. Um, it's the dance, dance, dance one. And she's gonna love it. And for £18, I just couldn't leave it. Amazing, amazing present. So she's got that. Um, she also has got a main present which is up in the attic, which I didn't see the point of bringing it down. And that is a micro scooter, but it's like micro plus. Not the not the baby one, the one up from that, the thicker one, the taller one. Um, I got that from a lady on the school run. And I think it's purple, so the one she's got currently is pink. I've just bought second hand. I think it goes for about £110. I refuse to pay that. Don't need to. I think I paid 35 for this one, maybe 40 I can't remember. I got it months ago. And it's just been sat in my attic. Um, it's in really good condition. And I just thought, sod it. It's something that she needs. It's something that she's asked for. It's up in the attic. I'm going to bring it down on Christmas Day. I'm going to put a bow on it and I'm going to wrap it up. Built. She's not going to know. And she's going to absolutely love it. So, so I just went into the garage and found what I was looking for. So the hot water bottle that I was talking about, I found it. See, unicorn. You ask for unicorn, I shall deliver. So it's this unicorn hot water bottle, which I just thought was very apt for the times right now. Um, it's got a little rainbow mane. Really nice and squidgy. Hot water bottle and pyjama case. Six pounds from Primark. So loved that. She'll love she will love that. So I got her that. Um the other unicorn thing. What seven-year-old is not gonna love this? When I saw this in Home Bargains with Florence, thank God I saw it with Florence, not with P, because I, I couldn't have bought it in front of P. It's got a rainbow unicorn horn, rainbow eyes, rainbow mane, sparkly feet. And it's pinky purple. She's going to absolutely lose her head when she unwraps this. She is going to lose her mind. Um, I think, like I said in Florence's, I think they're 7 99 $8.99. I would have paid probably up 15 16 quid for this because this is P. And she's going to absolutely love it. So she's got this one. This one is called Rosette, if anyone wants to try and find this one. It's a 2021 Beanie Boo. So she's got that one. Oh, on the spot purchase when I bought Florence's costume, um, I saw this and I thought she's going to absolutely love it. It's a unicorn dressing up dress. So it's pink, blue and purple sparkles. It's got a pink wig and the wig has a unicorn horn on it. <laughs> it's age seven to eight. It might be a bit big for her, you know. I might keep it back for next year. I'm going to see how her Halloween dress fits her because am I filming this before Halloween? Yes, yes I am. <laughs> um, I like to be organised for Vlogmas. Um, but I'm going to see how that fits her and then I'm going to gauge with this because P is, she's so small. In height, she's probably one of the shortest in her class. Um, in just body size she's like a twig um can't relate but i don't know whether this will fall down but she's got this anyway this was seven pounds from sainsbury's should have been 15 i got it half price in the sale 
and I think she's just gonna love dressing up as a unicorn. So, so I got her that. Um, a couple of the books that I said that I would show from Florence's video in this one, um, I said that I was gonna do a bundle of books for both of them. So these are like picture books. This is the Grinny Granny Donkey. And we love, we love the wonky donkey. So we've got that one that was prime day for like £2.50. Um, and then I got the brand new Julia Donaldson. I don't like a board book. I would prefer to have a paperback and I will be taking the cover off because it'll get ripped. Um, but this is the baddies. This literally came out three weeks ago and then it went in the prime day sale. Uh, and I think it was like 4 25 something like that. Um, I haven't read it. I'm going to save it. There are still a few more Julia Donaldson's we need, but I'm just going to hold off for next year because Julia Donaldson's a classic. And if P's outgrown them by the time she's eight, which I don't think she will have, I've still got Florence who will be three. Um, we need Scarecrow's Wedding, The Smeds and Smooze, which is going to be the adaptation this year. Not really that interested in it. I've read the book from the library, didn't like it that much. Um, and there's a couple others. I don't want the five. The the ugly five i don't like that one i had that one from the library but yeah we got the baddies and then finally you know how in florence's video if you watched it i hope you'll know what i'm talking about i said that i was buying presents that are useful and the same but slightly different i forgot to show this in florence's but i'm going to show it in this one they've both got a set of wireless headphones Florence's is the pink, P's is the purple. They're exactly the same, just different colours. They're LED wireless headphones with light up cat ears. I got these from Home Bargains, they were 9 99 each. And I just thought they were a really useful present. We go camping since I dug all of that, since I have been filming or been on my hiatus. Um we have a caravan, so we go camping quite a lot now. And these will be really really useful when we go in the caravan and the children are just lying in bed before they go to sleep watching their videos it's very much like i can hear bing i can hear blah 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 whereas now they've got these why just wait two minutes welly wait two minutes come here just sit just wait or don't you're like a child in you go off you go watch your tail anyway so I got those from Home Bargains. Hopefully they're okay. Effective range up to 10 meters, working time eight, standby at time up to 200 hours. Charging time two hours. Built-in microphone, cords included for charging. Love it, I'm really happy with these. They also had a blue pair, like a duck egg blue. But <coughs> that is everything that P has got for Christmas, I think. I'm sure there's a few little bits that I've got in the attic that I'll bring down. Um, but I feel like this year she's got a really good set of presents. She's got useful things. She's got craft things. She's got like, like I said, practical presents and then she's got some toys. And I feel like I've got the balance right this year. Look at Whirly, for God's sake. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I'm really happy with the gifts that I've got this year. I haven't gone over the top. Um, I've been really thoughtful about the gifts that i'm buying the children this year and i'm i'm not buying for the sake of it i'm buying for what i think they will use and i pees at school nine till three five days of the week she doesn't need endless amounts of toys like i said i think next year i'm going to do it different um because i don't think i can really get as she's getting older i don't think i can get away with buying things that she might have liked in february when i bought it but then come december she doesn't like that anymore um but we shall see anyway i'm gonna go leave a comment below let me know how you think i did let me know if you have got anything similar um i'm really happy with what i've got so yeah i'm gonna go i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video bye